opponent is going to be Rosario Central in quarterfinals. And the sort of reference in the box, box is going to be the captain, Gabriel Auche. Guillermo Farré with a regular system, but now we're Lozada, one of the best keepers in the tournament. Line of four with Juan Ibacachi, Alejandro Rebola, Matías Moreno, and Axel, sorry, Juan Barinaga, Alejandro Rebola. Although, as of late, the trend has leaned more towards the positive end. Although, ever so slightly as we begin here. Racing, of course, in their historic kit, Belgrano and all red. Of right now, What's Belgrano top. Yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, Juan, of course, there's always plan B, win the Copa de la Liga. Well, that is another option. Because not only would they be the only beneficiaries, they they hope that, well, it's not going to help Boca, really. Because they're the ones that were waiting for San Lorenzo to not win. Part of the equation went through with Estudiantes not winning. And, of course, now with Estudiantes behind, that's not going to help Boca in any way in terms of their almost miraculous possible qualification. Juan Fer Quintero. He's going back to that ends up being... Boca. No, 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 no. That, 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 that's not. Again, that ball coming <laughs> through. Great shot goal. Goal! Auche! Goal! As Racing take the lead. Racing provisionally going top of the zone. But again, down that left side, finding the space, finding the pass, John. And Demonio Auche making it 1-0. It's nicely won, wasn't it? Too much space on the far side. They are a bit compact at times, Belgrano. And the running off the ball and then the delivery and there. A crisp and cool finish. It's that little pass there and the run. And picking out the number seven. I think it's what the game needed just to get going again yep. you might say Losada could have done a little bit better but it was a great move and a very good finish put it on a plate and you're going to find yourself uh, with a good possibility of him scoring but ask him to create not really the number nine's forte but you can't complain about the number of goals he's put away he's had a great season Mura, Baltasar Rodriguez right on the line, it's Auche looking to deliver the ball inside and 2-0 I think uh, it might have been uh, curtains for Belgrano early on, there's a wasted opportunity but it come back to uh, bite them. Tobias Rubio waiting in the wings seeing if that ball does come back to him, it doesn't, Juanfer losing it but then getting bailed out by the referee on the call. And we get our first yellow card of the match, John. Another chance here for La Academia. Another low ball that goes through and just wide. Set piece opportunities that are somewhat discomforting Belgrano. Racing, if he cuts back inside, it could be 2-0, but didn't see the little crevice of space that was there. Losada watches it go over. It'll be a corner kick again for Racing. And another yellow card. This time it'll be... Sean Moreno for this bit of contact, although you can see that he's certainly... Ulises Sanchez. Speaking of assists, one of the leading assist men in the LPF so far. Keeping that ball in bounds. Racing now finding themselves a little bit out of sorts, having to drop it back, the chance by Lencioni, as it goes just wide. Belgrano asking a couple of questions. Keeping it tight inside of the six, knocked away by the defense. Lungo, Auche, and again Racing, full speed ahead. Here's Trapito Ojeda, Ojeda. Keeping his head down, being able to open it up down that far side. The chance to shot there goes into the back of that golazo. Goal! Juanfer! Goal! Juanfer Quintero, 2 0 Racing. And as soon as it opened down that left side, it was perfect. 
four. That prodigious left foot of the Colombian. Continue applying it in the playoffs. Racing dominating so far 2-0. Now the quick movement out from defense just when Belgrano found a way through but this is a wonderful finish isn't it the angle on that one as well knew exactly what it was doing really a technique from the Colombian making all the difference nicely set up the the pass to him from Ojeda was absolutely spot on and it was a wonderful move from Racing a great finish Muda just boots the ball out Juan Fer. And with that last touch of the ball, we end up bringing down the curtain into this first half. And a dangerous angle, looking to set that ball in, volleyed out, and a chance that ends up screaming over the crossbar. Now, Will Lozada didn't have other, another recourse and just to knock that ball away. Might end up in the second division. And Gimnasia, one of the oldest clubs in Argentina, might also be in the second division and coming up i think we've seen juan in that recent seasons the sides yeah. have come up on the whole have been okay they've handled that uh, progression sides that go down it's a bit trickier isn't it coming out of well, the second division just ask ask patronato scarbonero and roger martinez watching from afar yeah, he knows you're talking about he knows you Oh, yeah, Patronato, here's a good chance to make it 3-0. Chipping it over! It's the first time we've seen uh, Belgrano dither at the back. Normally very compact. Again, it's a, it's a rub of the green, isn't it? It's a wonderful little touch from Alci. Mm -hmm. It would have been uh, one of the goals of this uh, Copa de la Liga. Again, they uh, can only uh, do. Baltasar Rodriguez goes down. You were talking about injuries, John? Yeah, they went down on his own as well. But of course, you know, you could get intimidated against coming up against them. But I think Rosario Central was going to be a handful as well for Racing if that is the way it's going to pan out. And the way things are going, that's likely to be the scenario. Pushing forward. Great job by Racing. Looking to make it 3 0. All alone. Okay, goal. Goal! Juanfer. Goal! So Juan Quintero. Yeah, now it's over, John. All right, good night, John. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Again, it's direct, isn't it? Ball played out. They win that set first ball. Again, you've got to say it's a bit sloppy at the back. You think? And they get the rub of the green on more than one occasion. But what a finish. It just, just, just waltzes his way through, doesn't he? Uh, the no-look pass doesn't quite come off, gets it back, finds that little bit of space. If he's in this form, Juan, for the playoffs, Racing are going to be a force. I mean, just say that technical ability. Watch out with this one. It could be number four, the shot that goes wide. Goal! Goal! as Belgrano just being decimated right now 4-0 La Academia steamrolling into the postseason watch out if they come in with this confidence 4-0 again it's again it's deep isn't it but again Belgrano very very static where's the movement there's the run that's a wonderful little ball forward it really, really was a terrific ball layoff. And then another crisp finish. And Ojeda, I think, deserves a goal. But it's just been one team in this all night. Strolling the park for Racing. The 4 nil scoreline doesn't flatter them at all. Maybe saving themselves for the, the playoff stage. Card is out. As in Sua. Yeah, again, too late for Neil's old boys. I think they showed early promise. Mm -hmm. Faded away, as you said, Heinz's last match in charge. 
sometimes Belgrano you need a bit of a shake up. Yeah. Belgrano hadn't conceded four since July in a four nil defeat. That was also away from home against yeah, Estudiantes. And the, the, ironic, and the ironic thing is they scored four against Union in yeah. the last time out. Which put Union in the position that they had to win, which they did. The shot from way outside off the crossbar. Hada wasn't able to get to it. Just get out of north. Doesn't mean that they're not a difficult team to beat. But they're not an easy, they are an easy team to beat, I should say. That ball just swerves towards the post. That was a really cracking strike. Academic, as you said, as well. Yeah. And that'll be the last touch of the ball as Racing, in convincing manner, 